So yeah, let's see if Gilbert wants to grab it. There he is. Oh, Dorino! <laughs> if you go long ways, Gilbert, you get both of us. You feel what? Go long ways with your phone. You yep, there you go. Who who'd we have on that was saying that Gilbert is a better grappler than Maya? His boy Vicente. Woo! Gilbert, you love this fight. That's why you asked for it. I don't I don't even ask for it, to be honest. They Gilbert loves it. any fight. Yes. I was on the fight, you guys already know I'm ready to fight. I was looking forward to fighting last year. And uh I guess after the the quintet the, the when I when I grappled with Jake Shearer Sakuraba, I think that took a little give a little I don't know. But I think uh that motivates the UFC a little bit. Sean Shaw and Dana they were there watching. And I think after that fight they okay, that would be interesting that guy against them and Maya. So two days after that, the day that Kamaru for Kobe, they offered him the fight. And it still got a little weird because a little bit before that, uh, I was talking to them and we were kind of uh, working to get a session together. I was in the UFC, Brazil, and Jack Arreff fought the main event. We were talking, uh, he was he sit down by my side, we were talking, having a drink. But I never realized we never trained. It, it, it was even good that we, we never trained yet. So they offered the fight, I took it. That was going to be one of my questions. Have you and him ever shared the mat together? But no. No, I think we would be in the match one time together, but I think it was 2007. But, uh, yeah, it was a brown belt back then. He was a black belt. Like, we were on the same mat. I don't even think he remember. I do remember. But, yeah, we never trained. Now, after you beat Maya, are you going to text Ryan LaFlair like, hey, that's how it's done. Like that. You saw that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying a lot for that fight. That fight, uh, we're trying a lot. I remember Ryan. I pushed Ryan. Ryan pushed me. Uh, that's why I was able to go three rounds war with uh, Alex Oliveira back then, the, the Brazilian cowboy. Yeah, I still, I still, I still remember that camp from from. I think, so. I think if Ryan fought Maya again in like two, three months, he'd be able to beat him after that fight. That was that, that was just an off night for Ryan, I think. I think we 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 with that fight, I think we underestimated a little bit Daniel's wrestling. We didn't thought he could take Ryan Lafleur down, and he beat a couple times. Yeah. Yeah, he surprised Ryan. Ryan was just an, an off night. Yeah, he did be great. What the fuck was that? I think he was getting a call. Ah. So would we catch you in the middle of? You about to go train? No, I'm just I'm just done with the morning session. Uh, now I'm just resting a little bit. My wife in in Portugal for the Jiu Jitsu Europeans, and uh, I'm here with the kids. Kids are playing downstairs. <laughs> I'm just relaxing between session. I'm gonna get another session soon. How How old are you, boys? Pedro is six and Joshua is seven. That's like an awesome age. Is like you don't really have to like entertain them. They could just play with each other. And you're like, all right, they're not gonna kill each other. They're not gonna break anything. They're fine. <laughs> I wish they fighting all the time. They just throw the ball in the one of the neighbor's house, and they they were crying because the neighbor was in the house. And yeah. Everything. Every once in a while, you'd be like, hey, don't hit him that hard, and like. No, don't throw that ball or that object in the house. You're going to break a window or put a dent in the shit. They like that all the time. Fighting, 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 crazy. Now, are your kids Americanized or are they being raised Brazilian? Uh, that's a Brazilian house right here. But uh, Pedro is American. Uh, Pedro is Brazilian. He's born in Brazil. in six months. And Joshua is American. So they speak better English than Portuguese. Okay. And they they both do jujitsu, no? They both do jujitsu. They stop they back and forth, but they, they like to train. They 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 wrestle each other all day long. Uh no gi or gi or both? Both, both. You know, they wrestle too a little bit. They do football. Nice. 
Oh yeah, the family of black belt. Your brother's fighting this weekend, right? Yes, I'm heading to to Riley tomorrow night to, to help my brother he fight. Are you cornering him? Yes, I'm cornering him. Okay. Now, does he work out at? He trains at with Henry and everyone in South Florida too. He trains here with everybody. I finish four hard knocks. Awesome. I saw pictures the other day. You were doing some wrestling with the champ Usman. Yeah, that was yesterday. Usman was lit in the class. Yeah. Do the right thing. I, I mm-hmm. boy fight in the in the battle to so Coach Greg Jones here. Yeah. My motto is. Now is his cast come off? Yeah. I thought Usman was in a cast. No, I don't think he's in the cast anymore. Oh, so the cast is off. Yeah, he was grappling already. Yeah, I think he's still taking it easy, easy a little bit, but he's grappling. Awesome, Gilbert. We just wanted to get you on, touch base a little bit about that Maya fight. And just see how you're doing. We miss you. Yeah, we miss you, dude. I mean, me, I miss you guys too. I'm excited. Uh, Kenny Hart, as always, uh, excited with that fight. Uh, trying to don't get I this. over excited, you know. Gilbert, because, you know, with that. Yeah. We're putting on our own promotion. Little fight, MMA, amateur, maybe, maybe a couple pros, maybe a couple grapple matches. Yeah. How much does the menace have to pay? Dorino to grapple. To grapple, yeah. You can DM me. We can. Yeah, I would DM you, no problem. No, I'm not crazy. Nothing too crazy, but come on, bro. We, guys. we could parlay it to some training. You know, you can sleep over my house, bring your whole family. You know. I, I think it pays that part a little bit. Come on, bro. We're gonna we gonna do something nice. All right, I like it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the commentary while you're inside the cage choking somebody out. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, put some money in your pocket. Take your family to New York City. Come on, man. Don't get hurt. Sleep over. Yeah, don't get kicked. Don't get punched. I like yeah. That. Yeah. So right after you choke Maya, I think you're gonna I think you're gonna TKO Maya, actually. I don't I don't think Maya's gonna be able to take you down. If you do get taken down or you take him down, I think the guys just negate each other a little bit. I think you beat him up with the strikes. Yeah. We we work him a lot of ice too. The thing is, I got a couple options to do on that fight. I can, I think I can stand up with him. I can take him down. I'll be, I think I'll be able to. You can say, God, take him down. I can scramble up. I can get on top. I, I think I got good options. Still working on strategy, see how I'm going to do. But I, I got a couple options that, I, that I'm looking at. What blows my mind is you guys are the co main event on that. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of people talking. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I guess Oliveira could be a main event too, no. but in Brazil, him versus Kevin Lee versus yeah. you versus Maya. You and Maya are like national treasures in Brazil. Yeah, I think if, I don't know, I think in worldwide, like Kevin Lee has a good name, and Charles Oliveira is very well rounded, but in Brazil, I think me and Ben are, are big right now, so I don't know. Just fight. Who gives a shit? No, I'm I'm gonna fight anyway. First fight, last fight. Let's go. Oh, 100 percent. And that's like a jiu-jitsu fan's dream fight, right there. Yeah. Like you, you versus Gunnar Nelson was a jiu-jitsu fan's dream, and now we're gonna get like the real jiu-jitsu guys right now. Yeah, that's the real. Excited. I'm excited, and uh, you're working hard to get that co-main event, main event spot. I got here. And I was just putting work, constantly working every day. I know. I got a plan already to kind of what I'm going to do. Working out there with the coach. Henry Summy from Thailand on, on Monday. We're going to sit down. We're going to talk. But, yeah, we're very happy for this. Oh, for sure. And you know what happens when you beat Damian Maya, right? Back on the Menace in the Man Show. You come back yeah. on Menace in the Man Show, but also you're in title talks at that point. 100 percent I'm back. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't know. The division's a little crazy. We got Tyron Woodley, we got uh Liam Wagner, we got a couple guys there, RDA fighting these this weekend. I don't know. We don't care about none of these guys. We care about Dorino. Me too, me too. But yeah, you, you, that's not on my control. My control is that fight. I'm gonna do my best to perform my best. I'm gonna work hard as always on this camp. And Let's go. I'm excited for March 14. After that, we'll see. But 
Until March 14, I have a lot of work to do. I'm going to work extremely hard and smart to this fight and make sure I give my best performance. Awesome, my man. So we're going to slide into your DMs. We're going to try to set you up to at least even get you as a VIP. Maybe we get you in the cage choking somebody out, but we'll hit you off with the date, everything. You guys got a date already or no? We got a tentative date, April 11th. Nice. Okay, man, a lot of guys, I I would be the matchmaker with you. I, I, I can't, I can't Oh, I, I'm sure. You definitely got guys for me. We'll talk. All, all the fighters, hey, give me a fight to you. I want to grapple with you. Hey, okay, we, we're working. We're going to work. What, people are trying to grapple you? No, no, no. A lot of UFC guys from the gym, from, from around, they, hey, I want to grapple with you. Put me on the grappling match as well. Say, okay, no problem. So I know a lot of UFC fighters that they want to grapple with. Oh, I love that. So, yeah, you're, you're our new matchmaker, Gilbert. We love that. I like that. So, yeah, April 11th, we're calling it the New York Combat Championship. And we'd love to have Gilbert Burns there. So we'll talk, we'll be in touch. We're going to slide in those DMs. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited. Shake and bake. All right, Gilbert. We don't want to keep you too long. Menace is about to go run. Menace just uh, he passed his CDL license so he could drive big trucks now. Yep. He wants to go celebrate. Yep. Nice. Yep. Nice. Working man now, you know? That's it. That's it. Yeah. All right, Gilbert. We appreciate the time. We'll get you back on again soon after you choke Damien out. And we'll definitely figure it out. We'll get you in New York grappling in April. Shout. Do the one with the one with this lap. Ooh, maybe we'll get you in a combat jiu-jitsu match where you can Ooh. slap people. That knee and right on the floor. Against I mean, me. That's right. Yeah. Or we'll set up a tag team jiu-jitsu match. You yeah. and Menace could be a team. Yeah. Tag team. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. We got, we got some things in the work. In the works. I like that. I like Very that. good. Very good. And I have a couple of guys. They'll be matchmaking everybody. Everybody wants to fight. They talk to me. We do the matchmaking. Awesome. Good fight to your brother this weekend. Thank you, brother. And we'll talk to you soon. Hopefully you smash Maya and you come back on with that W. Peace out, Gilbert. Okay, guys. Thank you. Talk to you soon, brother.